Hi guys, I uh, hope you are all doing well. This video will introduce you to some of the basic instruments and setup required for drafting. We will start with the most important part, the surface on which you are going to draw, that is the drawing board. So as you can see, this is the drawing board and uh, you will need a drawing board of at least 58 centimeters by 80 centimeters. So this is the smallest board that you can have uh, for drafting. So we should all get one. And the drawing board should have a straight edge. That means the edge should be exactly straight. I'll explain to you why it is required in a short while while we start drafting. So this is the first thing that you need. The most important instrument that you are going to use is the T scale and I think it is obvious why it is called a T scale it is also known as a T square a T scale is used mainly to draw horizontal lines only horizontal lines and this is how you place it and now I think you understand why it is required to have a straight edge for the drawing board because the straightness of the lines straightness of the horizontal lines drawn by the T scale depends on the straightness of this edge of the drawing board and that is why we use the T scale along with the drawing board and that is why the straight edge is important for the drawing board so you have to make sure that nothing happens to this edge or else you will have to maintain it as straight edge the next instrument that we are going to explain is the set square so you might have used test set squares in your school time the small set squares the 45 45 set square and the 30 60 set square but this time here we are going to use an adjustable set square first of all this is much bigger than the set squares that you have been using in school because you are going to make bigger lines longer lines in this and another important aspect is we are going to make lines which are inclined in all sorts of angles, not just 30, 45 or 60. So you need an adjustable set square and I will explain how it is used. Basically it is used along with your T scale to draw angles. So in this case you can draw a perpendicular or a 45 degree line like this. If you place it this way, you can draw a 45 degree line here and a 45 degree line there. See the advantage of using an advan uh, adjustable set square is that you can adjust this to any angle. You just have to loosen the screw and adjust it to any angle which is shown here. So you can have any angle from 0 to 90. So in its base position these two angles are 45 and as you adjust this way for example you adjust it till here see the markings here it says 30 and 60 so that means you adjust it here and tighten the screw you have 30 on this side and 60 on this side so place it back to the T scale if you draw a line here that will be 30 degrees if you draw a line here that is going to be 60 degrees so that is how you use a adjustable set square but always keep in mind that the base edge should be aligned with the t scale and the t scale should be aligned with the straight edge this is important for accuracy so you always have to keep your hand here make sure that it is properly aligned place one hand on the t scale keep the set square aligned with the t scale and then draw the lines you can draw any set of parallel lines by moving the set square or the T scale. We saw how to draw lines with T scales and set squares, but how will we make sure that it is of the exact length that we need? For that, we will be using scale sets. 
This is one of the scale sets that we use and it is known as the triangular scale. So all these edges have different markings and readings on them. We will explain why we have all those scales in it. Another scale or another type of scale that we use is this. See nothing special about it. It's almost similar to the scales, 30 centimeter scales that you have been using in school. But here again, if you notice, you can see that there are readings on both sides and they are not the same. There are readings on the other side and there again, it is different. We will be having a chapter on scales. In that, we will explain why we have all these different markings on the scales. But for now, just pay attention to this edge and it is written as full size or 1 is to 1. That means it has the exact same dimensions as the scales that you have been using till now. Like even in the T scale and in the set square. Apart from these, you will have to use all the commonly used instruments including the compass protractor etc they may not be very commonly used but still it may come in handy so it's better to have them all now to draw these lines you need pencils see the most common type of pencils that we have used till now will be the HP pencil pencils come in various darkness and hardness starting from 8H or 9H which is the hardest pencil then comes 8H, 7H, 6H, 5H, 4H, 3H, 2H, H and then HB and after that starts the black pencils that is the soft pencils B, 2B, 3B, 4B, 5B, 6B, 7B, 8B and up to 9B so the H pencils are hard and the lines that they make are very light so as the edge value increases the lines drawn by the pencil will become lighter because the graphite used in the pencil will be harder so for example 9h lines will be much lighter than 8h lines 8h lines will be lighter than 7h lines the B pencils are soft pencils which are used to create darker lines because the graphite used is very soft and as the B value increases the lines become darker for example 9B lines will be much darker than 8B lines 8B lines will be darker than 7B lines so HB is actually midway in the spectrum so it is neither soft nor hard it gives an average kind of line so to draw darker lines you have to use B pencils and to draw lighter lines or we use H pencils so you will need at least five of these variances HB of course you will need one and you will need from the darker side 2B pencil 5B and from the lighter side you will need H and at least till 2H so right now I have 5 pencils starting from the lightest one 2H then comes H HB then moving on to the darker side B and 5 these exact values are not important you will need at least 5 different grades of pencil and these are the commonly used ones you can have grades like 2H and 4H if you want and in the darker side you can go for B, 3B, 4B or B, 3B, 6B it's up to you but you will need at least 5 of these pencils the next thing you will need 
is cello tape. Cello tape is basically used to fix the sheets on your table before drafting because as you know it is important to fix your sheets to make sure that the lines you draft are accurate because as we have discussed before horizontal lines are drawn with t scale and the inclined lines or perpendicular lines are drawn with the z square so it is very important to make sure that your sheet doesn't move while you are drafting see the sheet that you see here is in fact the base sheet which i fixed with cello tape on the corners and the edges so that it doesn't move so apart from these basic or uh, important instruments you will need other stuff like an empty cutter or a sharpener eraser and a sandpaper sandpaper is used to ensure that your pencils remain sharp at all times because every time you draw a line the tip becomes blunt and to ensure that the tip is sharp you have to use the sandpaper every time